Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I am on the 9.9 .9 test server, and this is the new tier 8 tank destroyer. The I do not know how to pronounce that. Jag Panzer at tier 8. It's a tier 8 uh, premium tank destroyer. It has, where is it? Right here. Let's go the thing. The 8.8. Uh, .8. It has, it goes 70, which is good. It's a very fast tank destroyer. It has a 90 millimeter with uh, 212 penetration. Not a very slow tank that it goes 70. It has 100 and 1,200 hit points. Not very good armor, but great rate of fire for the gun, and it's a 90. And the best, the tank I've seen to see, um, bleh, the best tank I see that good, um, the tank that's the best in comparison to it is the um, RU, with the speed as all those 10 kilometers slower. And then the rate of fire wise, because the rate of fire on both of these tanks are very good. Yet yeah, they're close in comparison. Let me just pull this up on the um, new tank destroyer. On the RU, it's 9.68, uh, and on this, it's 9.52. It's very close. Same time on the um, tank destroyer is a, se a second faster just by exactly one second. The guns are close in comparison. And I am going to show you a battle in the uh, new tank show. And this is going to be a live um, commentary thing. Yep, and we're back. Yeah, as you can see, this looks very similar to the object with the, the back of it. And the gun looks uh, looks exactly like the RU 251's gun. And it has a faster fire of 5.23 with rammer and 100% crew before you put any premium consumables or. What is it? Resin arms on this tank. And it's not sluggish at all. It quickly can get up to 50. And there's an RU. Yes. I'm sorry if my commentary is kind of bad because uh, this is my first time, so please bear with me with doing a tank review. I don't think I got a light saying I got to her base. It's not good. Alright, looks like I got a backup. I'm going to go rush this Lorraine. Crash that. As you can see, this thing could not take a hit switch. That was a bad one. Got those that are you back there. As you can tell, it's very low to the ground, like the E25 in comparison. That's another tank shred. Rate of fire is fast for its kind, and I missed that shot. Get that gun aim faster. Is that Lorraine, Lane, Lorraine, yeah, Lorraine. Yep, there he is. He's still making his retreat. You really don't have to aim some of the shots sometimes because the aim time is very good. And got him. Yep, this thing is a very good tank when it comes to doing certain, sort of, kind of doing snapshots somewhat. And the RU's running in, then there's their artillery. Hmm. That was a lucky RNG shot right there. And as you can see, if I did point out in the garage, this gun only has 212 penetration. With the heat rounds, you have 250, and then HE shells 102, which is good, but I don't think they're called HE shells. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're called HE. They kind of look like heat shells on the uh, British with the high penetration of those guns. Or HE shells, I mean. Ah. I can sneak a shot into that guy. He's trapped. And I bounced the shot that was going to keep him there. But our artillery takes him out. I'm going to go for this RU right here. He misses this shot. 
or my allies were shooting past me in the mist. Ah, missed that shot. Can't rely on all aim that much. You can see gun pressure's not that bad. If our light tank would um, go over. This light tank would go over and help me. We could easily just end this right here for these artillery and light tank. It looks like he's not, and our mod one's gonna attempt to. And instead, I get taken out by artillery. That was a nice shot on his part. And you can see this tank doesn't have the best armor, so you can have a feeling people will shoot you with HE shells a lot. Because only 30 millimeters of um, armor people will put most likely throw HE at you. And that's very sad. Looks like this argues doing himself is going to get killed now. As everyone's just rushing at him. Yep, and we win this game. 15 to 5. And let's see the post battle results of this battle. Yep, with a non premium account, I made a good amount of profit or a good amount of money before I checked. Yeah, it's good experience right there. Not too bad. Did 1,212 damage and only fired eight shots. That's good. Yep, received five shots by. Things good. Yep. Yep, I made a good amount of profit. They should really turn it on. Yep. As you can see, this tank's um good in regards with the DPM, just not with the armor. It can. It, I have a feeling it's going to be like an E25 on when it comes on the live server, because more people will just sit in the back and snipe with it instead of being aggressive, because of its non-armor and its mo speed and mobility and its rate of fire, will give it an advantage over most tank destroyers other than the um. What is it? The other tier 8 tank, premium tank sure the Yag Tiger 8.8, which has a close to similar rate of fire. If I am right, eh, it has better rate of fire. So these two tanks will be competitive to each other with the rate of fire wise, with the armor wise, the Yag Tiger beats it. And yeah, and I am going to call this video an end, or no, I'm going to do one more battle in this to show how this tank works in a battle. Hopefully not dying this time. And okay. And we're back with a tier 10 game on um, Swamp. This map has been changed a little bit, and it turns out this tank does not get preferential matchmaking like I assumed originally. So this will be interesting to see how this tank does in tier 10 games. And if certain tanks see it, it's a one shot, which will be funny. I'm not sure if Wargamer is thinking about may think about giving this preferential because of its armor, or just give it do it like this, like an RHM. Have stealth and <laughs> just be as stealthy as could be and pump out the damage while it can. There's a thing. They changed this map up a lot. Now this wall here, and then they have a lot of changes they have done. I will most likely try to do a. A map change look, and I can take out that light weight, and there's a waffle. I should really stop spitting because I don't have six cents yet with the crew I'm using. Mm, let's take a minute look at this thing. Looks so cool. The details they gave this thing is very really awesome. And there's a flash behind me. Mm. No, behind me. Artillery is shooting at something, although they don't see it. And someone's sticking down. All oh, the bat chat. The bat chat got around. That's not good. Bat oh, bad chats, plural. I just not care. Hmm. The team easily took out those guys. And there's an ISO. I'm going to let that flash take that position, so I'll move to a better location for this tank to see if I can do more damage anywhere else. And the team's going to erect on that flank because they didn't push up far enough. Or push up at all on that side. And... There's a leopard, another tank, a tank without armor, which should be fun to fight with this thing. I'm going to load an HE shell, see if this can do enough damage to him real quick. Most likely may not, because the leopard is, and he disappeared. That's great. 
you fled. Alright, reload the AP back. Oh, uh, leopard, dang it. Missed my shot on the leopard rose. Missed my chance on the leopard. Where the heck did the object come from? I have no shot on him. Ah, they like a little way you can go. Oh, that's that's interesting. On the zero area right here, they made like a little path to go up behind if you can't go up the normal way. Huh. That's a good thing for people going from the other side, but bad that people, but some people didn't know that until now, which isn't the coolest. And it looks like I was spotted. Yep, I was spotted. I should have moved instead of taking a pot shot at that Borsig. And I'm going to see if I can use the speed of this tank to get out of here. Yep. This tank, if you ever get spotted, you can run away quickly. It seems there's an object behind me. Put a shot into me. That's not cool. Let's see if I can get the cover. More cover. Hopefully I can, and I have. So he shouldn't be able to shoot me. But you have to really be careful of your hit points in this tank, it seems, because you have no armor. Because a few shots, you're almost, you're going to be dead very quickly. Yeah. And it seems like this doesn't have, like, farthest view range, or it may just be my crew or something. Because I can't hardly see from, how far would this be? Where's the way right Let's get my allies time. Can't see far, it looks like you're going to need, um, Binox or in um, coded optics on this thing to get your view range to be farther than what it is, it seems. Uh oh, here comes a leopard. He's oblivious. Or was ballsy and oblivious. He must be thinking I'm not a threat to him. Oh wow. And with my rate of fire, ah uh, I would have had him with my rate of fire, but he had it now. I see heavy who takes me out. Yep, let's just see. My team attempt to take out the leopard who I left on minimal health. Oh, looks like they're going to our artillery's gonna flee. This looks like As you can see, the T92 lies in wait for the leopard. Leopard misses a shot. T92 misses a shot. T92 is screwed. I was trying to make a joke right there, and that wasn't very funny. Yeah. Yeah. This leopard is bad. Oh, yeah, group takes him out. So let's see for now. This is going to be lost. Looks like I got groups. I'm going to tell you so far. Or just gave up. I believe he just gave up. Huh? Uh oh. He's dead. He doesn't realize the Tifus and Hennis come by. Waffles on reload. And. Did he know this? At all. He knows now that he's shot, but he has two shots. Oh. And he got you. Oh. Trying to aim his last shot. Oh, Walt didn't did it for him. Oh, the nice lines. Let's see how the post battle results go for this battle. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Chasing game. Yeah. Didn't do my best but it make good profit did a thousand damage it seems like you can easily do a thousand damage in this tank just in a few shots which would be five or so that pin yeah didn't look like this tank's bad at all did some critical damage to the leopard and a um, rhm hit the rack yeah. yeah this little tank i have a feeling it's going to be like an rhm or an e25 when it comes on my so people mainly will be aggressive with it like an e25 if you have to or 
just or meaning being aggressive and getting in their face where they can't shoot you or playing like an RH and just being stealthy and sniping from a distance and doing your damage. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this little preview of this um, new tier 8 tank destroyer who I'm still going to try to pronounce the name but I'm going to say Jagpanzer at tier 8 or Jag, yeah, Jagpanzer. Yep. It's a nice little tank. I may I am looking forward to this being on the live server and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.